This is how narcissists hypnotize you. The narcissist will induce a state of consciousness in which you lose the power of voluntary action. Until you become highly responsive to suggestion and direction. They may also do this to recover suppressed memories and to allow modification of your behavior. They will put you in a mental state like sleep in which your thoughts can be easily influenced by them. And they will do this by using a pattern interrupt, which is a technique that NLP practitioners use to help people step out of bad habits. But the narcissist will use this technique to create new bad habits by influencing you and changing your behavior. And it can be very effective. It's even used in sales because it has the power to change people's behaviors, assumptions, opinions, and decisions in an instant by using a series of interruptions to break your routine, habitual thought and behavioral pattern. A pattern interrupt is anything that surprises you. Anything that interrupts your thoughts and states to grab your attention because it compels you to change your instinctive reaction and behavioral pattern. It sparks and refocuses your attention. By changing the momentum and direction of an interaction. And whenever you're not able to be calm, cool and chill in a situation, you are highly susceptible. You are likely to be influenced or harmed by something, which is what they want, which is why they will try to break your train of thought, to put you in a more suggestible state, to brainwash you, to pressurize you into adopting radically different beliefs. And they will do this by using systematic and often forcible means. They will indoctrinate you. They will condition you. They will do whatever it takes to get you to believe whatever they want you to believe. They will get you to take on the role that they've assigned to you because they need you to validate the illusion so that they can exist in this false reality that they have created for themselves. If they can get you to believe it, it makes it more believable for them. And then they can feel safe and secure. They can feel comfortable because now there's no threat to the illusion. There's no threat to the false narrative that they have created inside their minds. Which is just a story that they're telling themselves to justify the abuse. To justify how they're treating you. Because every abuser needs an excuse. They need a reason for what they're doing. Otherwise it would trigger them to self-reflect and then they would feel shame. But they're shame-based individuals. Who are doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame. Which is why they use hypnotism and brainwashing tactics. It's why they have to put you in their suggestible state where you will listen to them more than yourself, which is what they want, because they see your mind as the enemy. It's a threat to the illusion. So they will try to turn your own mind against you. They will try to make you think you're going insane or that you're inherently bad or wrong because in actuality, they already know that you're a good person. They may even recognize that you're an empath. And they know that if they get you to think that something is wrong with you, you're going to seek assistance and approval from them. Which is what they want. Even though they know they're just manipulating and abusing you, and they mean you no well, they still want you to do that because it gives them even more power over you. Deep down they know that they are abusers. But they don't want you to see them as abusers. 
unless it is in a situation that gives them more power. Other than that, they will want you to see them as innocent. And as though you pose a danger or a threat to them. Because that allows them to have further control over you. It keeps you locked in as their subordinate. While they maintain power and authority over you. It may seem like you're having a normal conversation with a narcissist. But then they will finish your sentence for you. As though they've already assumed what you're going to say. They will cut you off. They will use the pattern interrupt tactic. They will break your flow. They will break your state of mind. Because they already know that by them doing that, it will create cognitive dissonance. This state where you will experience inconsistent thoughts, beliefs and attitudes, and it may even cause your behavioral decisions and attitudes to change. They will do things that may just seem to cause an inconvenience to you, but it actually goes much deeper than that. Because by doing this, they are breaking the flow. They're causing you to experience psychological stress and discomfort. By making you engage a behavior that does not align with your values or beliefs. Which creates conflicting attitudes, beliefs and behaviors as you try to reckon with the two opposing pieces of information. Because when you genuinely have a disconnect between two conflicted beliefs, it makes you feel uncomfortable. Which drives you to resolve it. And it will even threaten your identity and sense of self. It will make it difficult for you to live in, live an authentic life aligned with your personal values. Cognitive dissonance isn't just a psychological theory. It's a scientific fact and it's something that people experience every day. People may believe that they love animals and that they should be treated well. But at the same time they eat meat every day. So they may feel uncomfortable when they think about where their food comes from. Or they may be trying to improve their health and lose weight. But they also love chocolate cake. So when they eat dessert they experience some dissonance. Which is normal and healthy. And it can help us to improve ourselves and our lives. It can push us in the right direction. But narcissists use dissonance to push you in the wrong direction, into something that will be unfavorable and detrimental to you. They create a sense of urgency, a feeling and attitude that a task must be carried out quickly and with great intensity, while also establishing the path of least resistance, an option avoiding difficulty and unpleasantness, the easiest course of action, because it avoids confrontation, difficulty, awkwardness and tension. But they will also do it in a way that is covert. In a way that is under the radar. It's unnoticed and doesn't get too much attention. So it looks like you made the choice on your own. They will say things in an irregular voice. They will say things under their breath. They will direct your attention to certain things that you wouldn't normally take notice of. To break your train of thought. To get you to adopt radically different beliefs so that you become who they want you to be. Rather than who you actually are. Because they want to degrade and humiliate you. They want to discredit and lower your dignity and status. They also want to test your willpower and strength of character. Because that is the greatest opposition to them being able to control you. So they will break the flow. They will put you in a state of confusion. They will induce cognitive dissonance. And then they will give you their suggestion. They will give you that particular idea by associating it with the other ideas. And then they will attach a restrictive label, name or description to you. So that they can assign you to a category inaccurately. And since you're already in a confused state of mind and you're unable to think clearly. Because they've already broken the flow with you. It will affect you on a subconscious level. And they're already aware of this. 
they know that it's effective. They know that it has the power to change your values, beliefs and behavior. And to prove it, you've only got to look at their pattern of behavior. You've only got to look at how they repeat the same actions again and again because they know that it's effective. If they didn't think that it was, they wouldn't do it. So they already know what they're doing. It is conscious and deliberate and it is intended to get you to take on their suggestion and feel differently about yourself, which they will achieve by treating you a certain way once they've put you in a suggestible state. They will treat you as though you're bad, crazy, different or wrong, as though you don't know what you're doing. They will act like they're trying to correct you or put you right, as though they're free from error or in accordance with fact or truth. Or they will dismiss you as unimportant so that you begin to take on these feelings. You start to feel like you're less than you actually are, as though they're more efficient and capable. Because when they break the flow, they act very confident. They show certainty about something to make you less confident because they always hold opposing views. They're never in agreement with you. They're always trying to confuse you so that you experience cognitive dissonance. And when they pop out, acting as though they're so sure of everything, they're so confident and courageous, but really they're actually very insecure because they're just trying to make you think less of yourself. It's not for a worthwhile cause. They're not leading you to something useful or important. They're just trying to get you to develop a psychological bond with someone who you should be seeing as your abuser or captor. Someone who is treating you cruelly and unfairly. Someone who has caught and confined you, imprisoned and enslaved you. Someone who means you no well, and yet you begin to identify closely with them, and you may even have positive feelings towards them because they act so smooth and confident to the point where you begin to distrust yourself. You begin to doubt your own memory, perception and sanity. You begin to feel like you're losing your mind. And then they've got you wrapped around their finger because it's likely that they've isolated you to where they've become your only source of influence. And they will act like they're trying to help you so that you confide in them and you trust them. When in actuality, they're just driving you straight to hell. They're trying to pull you down with them, but at the same time, they portray an image that is very different to what they actually are. They're very insecure and they have low self-esteem, but to habitually harm and intimidate you, they act confident and outgoing. They're noisy and loud. They act like they're sure of themselves while making you unsure so that you end up following them. But if you are a powerful and confident individual, they will just continue to use the pattern interrupt. They will keep breaking the flow to make you second guess yourself, to make you feel small. But you can use their own game against them. By realizing that if you were so weak, vulnerable or small, then they wouldn't have to do any of that because they would have broken you down a long time ago. They do it because they're the ones who are weak and unsure. They're the ones who lack the power to perform and they know that you're greater than them. That's why they're so insecure. That's why they bully and coerce you. That's why they have to hypnotize you to try to bring you down to their level and then put you beneath them so that they can preside over you. They may act like they want something better for you, but really they don't like strong or confident people. It intimidates them. It makes them feel worthless and unimportant in comparison. So they need people to be weak because they want people who they can control. And to do that, all they have to do is constantly be in your presence. Because although they are weak, your ego may take control. And you may believe that you can correct their weakness when that is what pulls you down because you care and you're trying to resolve the situation and you see potential because at times they are confident as though they're capable and efficient.
but the reality is that a person who is truly confident and sure of themselves will uplift you they're not going to pull you down narcissists control you through acts of weakness through pulling you down to their level because that's all they can do they have no power of their own which is why they're not confident and it's why they can't uplift you it's also the reason why they feel the need to control you and harness your natural energy to fuel and support the illusion so that they can continue to delude themselves into thinking that they are something special when the reality is that they're only doing that because they already know that they're nothing Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate our PayPal to any slash Narc Survivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.